Connor. Well, it's a fascinating and famous unsolved case with roots right here in the Pacific Northwest. The D.B. Cooper case stumped the FBI and cemented itself in pop culture. Now one true crime expert says he may have solved the mystery. Fox 12's Kendra Kent shows us. The FBI officially closed this cold case several years ago, but there are plenty of amateur sleuths who are dedicated to solving this mystery, including one expert who says he's found a new suspect, and it's all based on D.B. Cooper's famous tie. Could one of the nation's greatest mysteries finally be solved? This is new. Uh, this is brand new evidence. D.B. Cooper, the infamous man who hijacked a Portland flight and secured a $200,000 ransom before parachuting to an unknown fate back in 1971. It's something the FBI spent nearly a half century investigating before giving up in 2016. But the lore of the Pacific Northwest mystery lives on with amateur sleuths determined to crack the case. Now one of those investigators, Eric Ulis, known for his History and Discovery Channel features on the subject, says he's made a breakthrough in the case. The tie has actually given us three very important particles that I would consider uh, very significant. The smoking gun, the tie D.B. Cooper left behind on the plane. Euless says he discovered new evidence pointing to just one suspect. Euless says he analyzed 2017 lab reports where an abundance of unique metal particles were found on the tie. From there, discovering there was just one Pennsylvania metal manufacturing company at the time with special patents on those particular chemicals. They appear to be something uh, tantamount to commercial DNA in that it points to a very specific company and a very specific division within the company at a very specific time. And stunningly, Eula says he found there were only eight researchers at the then called Rim Crew Titanium working on those projects at the time, and they all wore the same style of clip-on ties. Eula says it was a retired company manager who recently told him a man named Vince Peterson, this man, fit the bill for D.B. Cooper's description and was somebody who regularly traveled to the Pacific Northwest on business for the company. Euless says Vince Peterson died back in 2002, and he has since spoken to his son. I asked his son, I said, do you think it's at all possible that your father could have been D.B. Cooper based upon you know, what I'm bringing here? And he said he just can't see it. He can't see his father being D.B. Cooper. Uh, you know, to the best of his knowledge, his father was always an honest person. My hope is that maybe somebody comes out of the woodwork that knew Peterson or could provide some additional information with respect to that. If you are interested in learning more about this case, there is the fourth annual CooperCon coming up right here at Kiggin Cedar in downtown Vancouver. That is an entire conference dedicated to exploring this mystery and lore of the Pacific Northwest. And we will post more details about the conference in the online version of this story at kptv.com. Reporting in Vancouver, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.